Okay, this is an LS10 slab saw vise assembly. It's made out of aluminum and it's got a couple of steel components as well. These rods right here, the uh, five, the 3 8 drive rod here is uh, steel also. The original design is all aluminum and it's got bushings, brass bushings here and also here with these screws. And this allows you to adjust the, uh, the vise for slops. So when you get wear, you can use these uh, brass components to help tighten the, the unit up, which is really, really smart. Um, the one weakness <clears throat> is right here where this drive rod goes through. This goes through aluminum. I added this plate, this steel plate. This isn't part of the uh, regular assembly and I threaded a hole there and this gives it some added strength and it's also going to wear a lot longer. Uh, in the event that this steel rod wears out, I mean these are cheap, you can buy these at a hardware store for almost nothing. Also the hole here on the original is uh, rather is a little bit too large and I think the reason they made that hole a little bit larger was because you can, you can get a little bit of uh, Sometimes this will it'll catch a little bit on the inside here. The disadvantage is when you have a bigger hole here than 3 8 it goes, uh, it goes up and down when you turn it and that develops more slop and wear on this hole on the aluminum. So this, these are the main two points that I was addressing in, in my, in my uh, retrofit. Put a brass bushing here, drill it out, put a brass bushing for 3 8 and adding this plate here. Those are the two main uh, uh, improvements that I've made to this design. Okay, here's the original part that fits this part right here. And you can see it's got a hole here. This is where the drive rod goes through that actually moves the vise. You can see there's slop here. So what I did is I drilled this other one out more so that I can put a bushing in here. So you can see there's a bushing. So now that gets rid of the slop on that hole. So this is part of the new design thing I did is I added a, a, a brass bushing. Actually you can go this way so you can see it better. Okay this is the vise assembly with the rod removed and you can kind of see the plate here that I put on. It's a steel plate. It's probably about 3 sixteenths or maybe a quarter inch thick. And I bolted it on and threaded it and it's it works really well. Uh, the, the rod, it's a little stiffer going through because it's got this extra area to go through. Uh, but there's going to be a lot less wear on this unit. So I'm pretty happy with it. Okay, one more thing I'd like to point out is on this unit, I uh, did put a couple of shims here. And these are just made out of a piece of a tin can lid. And what that does is that allowed me to align the threads from the steel plate to the aluminum housing better. So um, if you do this retrofit yourself, you may or may not have to do that. Um, just play with it and see what you need. Uh, when I first tightened this down flat, they didn't quite, there was a little more binding that I wanted, but by putting the shims in there, it allowed me to tighten it down and I've got a nice, uh, a nice fit here. And this is the, uh, the plate, the vise plate. And this is installed like this on here. And then when you rotate this crank, that moves the vise back and forth so that you can move the, uh, whatever you've got clamped in here back and forth so it goes into the slab saw.